guys and welcome back to my channel so the other day I was going through a lot of my stuff and organizing like crazy putting things in containers and because I have way 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 too much stuff and I realized that honestly I haven't used a lot of my makeup <laughs> so a lot of the times when I get new things in uh, from Ipsy especially um, I don't get to use all the products. I end up looking at it and I'm like, oh, this looks really awesome. I have to use that. And then I go to do my makeup routine and I end up using the products that I know work for me. So today I decided that I was going to try out products that I've never used before ever. I have them, they're unopened, and I don't know how long they've been honestly sitting around. So today it looks like I'm going to be using a lot of um, trial size stuff it seems because those are a lot of the things that I haven't gotten to use. And honestly, I don't know why. I mean, if you get trial stuff, use it see if you like it and then you can actually buy the full size product so one of my first products i'm using this is not trial um this is gold faden md uh detox hydrating gel bha skin balancing moisturizer so this is a type of moisturizer uh that i haven't gotten around to using yet and i really wanted to i got this out of my ipsy bag i'm almost positive so we're gonna see how this moisturizer feels on my face and then we'll go check out the primer so there is like a very uh like a gel uh a gel consistency here so you can see you know what this kind of feels like it kind of feels like hair gel <laughs> it says it helps with oil so i think that would be good for me because I'm really 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 oily today it's been so hot in Florida I'm literally been sweating so much um, so hopefully this will help with that there is a bit of like a like a stickiness so so far moisturizer feels all right um, it feels it feels okay it's a little sticky let's see how it works with the rest of the products so I'm going to be using this it's literally this little tiny trial primer when I bought um, from Too Faced a few items they also give you some little trials in the box so I never got around to using it um, I have so many other primers and I kind of these things you kind of just have and then you forget about it would be nice to see if this primer is good because I do like Too Faced and maybe I would buy the actual product um, it's called uh, hangover RX like hangover prescription like this is like the prescription to your hangover you know you put this on hangover gone you just look like a million bucks I guess that's what this is trying to say replenishing face primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. Silicone free. So let's give this a go. I'm gonna do like a tiny bit first, just to see. Mmm. -hmm. It does have a nice hint of coconut in it. I like that a lot. It smells nice. And I must say, I don't remember the last time I had a primer that actually had a, a strong scent to it so this is nice wow that's really strong of coconut and it's not giving my face a weird weird feeling like a weird finish or anything because I know some primers that leave like kind of like a weird feeling on your face I don't know how to explain it almost as if like it's like powdered smooth or something so things I have not tried I wise so I have here a little trial the balm voyage the from the balm cosmetics I have so many of these things that I have not used bronzers blushes highlighters eyeshadows I mean I would like to try it I mean why not this is a nice shade it's called Wilk Wilk Wilkman Wilkman eyeshadow I pfft. Why do I always get the worst things to try and pronounce all the time? But yeah, this is that. This is like a dark shadow that I feel like belongs maybe out um, on the outer part of your eyelid. And then over here, I have Shayna B. Miami. I actually got this not too long ago. This is another one of my newer products, but I did not get to use it yet. It's an eyeshadow duo, um, Winwood and Heat. Um, it is, it's very cute. I like it. This one's really pretty looking. 
So we're gonna give this a go. We're gonna maybe do like a look with these. And we're just gonna give it a try. So today I honestly have no idea how my look is gonna come out. <sighs> Hopefully it looks good. I'm a little, a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. So um, I'm just putting a little bit of primer on my eyes right now, just really, really quick. I think that was a little bit too much, but whatever, we'll use it for the underneath of the eye. So I think I'm going to just go in with one of my little blending brushes just to start, and I'm going to start with the Balm Voyage little, little palette thing here. This Balm Voyage cute little trial eyeshadow. I mean, this is really cute. For they, they do make, you know, their trial size stuff very cute and adorable. Um, I can only imagine their full size stuff is always so adorable too. Okay. It's a nice, um, actually it's not as dark as it seems like it's going to be. So it's a really nice neutrally color. Now I trust the Balm Cosmetics, I do, with their um, their eyeshadows and their products. I've used their products many times, so I'm not too worried about this. It's all the other stuff that I don't know too much about. But the Balm Cosmetics does have really nice stuff and their eyeshadows are really, really pretty. So this is a nice one, I would definitely say. So I'm just going around the outer part of my my lid right here and you just want to go back and forth nice soft motions and try to also you know hold toward the bottom more of the brush so I just wanted to make this just a teensy weensy bit darker along the edges here <clears throat> I guess we're going for another nudie look today I wish something I hadn't used was like a crazy color. I love colors, but um, unfortunately, those colors get used right away. So I'm going to go in with the really light color right here, the non-shimmery one. Um, I don't want to ruin the cute little flamingo. So I'm just putting this here on my lid. So to me, the color is... Um, well, well, it's not bad, it's just, man, it's not exactly something I would use probably again, so, I don't know, it's just a little too neutral for me. It almost looks as if I don't have anything on my eye, and then it's kind of like, what's the point? Um, it almost matches my skin tone, honestly. It's almost as if I did nothing to my eye um i mean i said this is what i was gonna do so we're just gonna carry on with this look and uh hope for the best at this point i honestly must say i'm really not a fan of this color maybe if it was used with like a different a different eyeshadow than the one i'm using right now but the one i'm using right now if you can see it's brown it's neutral it's um, it's not complementing the other color in a way it's just kind of blending into it into just like like as if there's nothing there so I don't know if I would use this eyeshadow again okay let let's just try something different real quick let's try that like goldish color the sparkly one let's give that a go so it's, again, I mean, it's, it's definitely has more color and more tone to it than the other one where I can actually work with it a little bit. They just don't complement each other. I mean, if I look at myself in the mirror, it almost as if looks like there's just a slight brown tint over here. There's not really much going on. I'm going to try putting a little bit more on it and seeing if maybe if I put more on if it'll come out more and then instead pat it more into it instead of blending it because I feel like blending this color for some reason you lose it you lose the color almost when you blend it there we go I think that looks a little bit better um is it magnificent no 
Would I have thought to do this? Just spur of the moment look? No. Um, but you know, we're testing things. We're testing stuff out that we don't normally use up in here. And I'm just gonna darken the other color up a little bit more. I have a ton of sparkles on my damn eye. I'm not even feeling all the sparkles. This is just gonna have to do. There's not much I can do with this eye look. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the eyeshadows itself. There's really nothing wrong with them. Um, they, they're nice eyeshadows. They go on nice. Fall out. None. Um, so there's not really anything wrong with the product. I think it's more of just the color choices. And of course it's colors, things I haven't used. Um, these colors were just not meant to be used together. Okay, so I actually just found this Petal to the Metal Va Va Vroom Cream Eyeshadows. So it's another one of these trial little um, things I haven't used yet. Um, and it is in turbo. So we're just gonna pop this on, pop this bad boy on the lid and see if this does anything for us. Oh, okay. It definitely, it brightened, I can see it brightened it up a little bit, just a little bit, but not completely, not completely. Uh, but it definitely feel like it did something for us here. I'm gonna put that on the underneath of my eye as well. So I'm gonna just quickly do this eye and come back and we'll hop into some foundation. All right, so I'm done with that. Honestly, there isn't much I can do with that. Hopefully, um, once we start putting on our lovely foundation this all comes together all right so today the foundation i've decided to use um it is bye bye foundation full coverage moisturizer spf 50 plus uva slash uvb bought broad broad spectrum physical sunscreen um it says clinically tested hydrating and anti-aging with 3d skin flex um this is something that I never got around to using. It honestly looks kind of dark. Um, the shade, what shade is this? It just says tan. Um, I want to say I got this from Ipsy. I know I didn't go out and buy it. I've definitely just be accumulating stuff over here. So, um, usually what I like to do is I will use... smells like something um usually what i like to do is i like to use my green color corrector from um urban decay uh to cover up those spots on my chin i just oh it's horrible but we'll see first how this works because technically that is a product i've used before and this is a challenge to use stuff i've never used oh, please cover it up oh oh get out of here hold on a second it cosmetics but you covered up that spot real nice I was a little nervous to use this I thought it was gonna be a little bit too dark maybe I'm actually really 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 surprised putting this on around my chin and just in that area where it was so red and I usually always just use my my color corrector just because that's always been a red spot for me and kind of in here as well. I am totally, 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 totally surprised right now. Wow. I mean, look at, look at that. That coverage is nice. I'm going to just throw this on my head real quick because I don't want to get foundation in my hair. And I always forget I have this cute little, cute little thing on my jigger. So we're going to just throw this sheet on. Oh, don't wipe over my face, please. Oh, okay. That was a close one. Bam! Woo! Okay, there we go. So now I can see more of my forehead. So far, so good. Let me look really closely now and how it looks on my skin. Hmm. Huh. So it is covering up very nicely, very nicely, very, very nicely. Um, I just don't like, it kind of seems cakey on my skin. I don't know if it's maybe 
just me or if other people might have a problem with it but so far just just going with it with the brush and just kind of putting it on so far it's just looking real caked up like maybe I should have used a little bit less I've never used this product so I didn't know how much foundation to put on I just kind of put on how much I normally would put on but um it's really I mean it's wonderful coverage wonderful coverage definitely um am I a fan how it sits on my face Oh, we're gonna we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a blendy. I think it's starting to look a little bit better. So I think it was just the application with the brush. Make sure if you use this product, always use a blender. It's not. It's it's actually it's not, it's pretty good. So I'm I'm actually pretty happy with. Uh, it cosmetics right now so um what I'm gonna do now is we're going to place the concealer on um, bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer let's give this a go let's have some luck with this so I'm going to just put tiny bits on my face Ooh, it's, um it's it's a thick a thick concealer. I feel like I should only probably put a tiny bit, nothing too much to start because I'm a little nervous by this. It's very thick. Ew. Okay. This is a very thick concealer. I will say that. I'm used to using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, my Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit lighter than this. This is a darker shade of concealer this isn't bad it is doing really great with coverage um do i sometimes prefer a little bit lighter of a concealer yes um but i don't really have complaints but it is very thick it is like it is like almost peanut butter thick i'm gonna blend that up more but i'm gonna first put down some concealer on the chin and i'm literally using sparingly Wow, and that really covered up nicely the chin. Okay, so now that we got that done, we are going to go into my eyebrows now. I do want to kind of just touch up a little bit of the eyeshadow now that my foundation is on. I kind of want to darken it up a little bit, but I've seemed to have lost. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so let's give this a go a teensy bit more of like a just a touch up in a way just a touch up I just feel like I can really see like if you get really close up to my face it looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup already and I don't I don't like that I don't like having the look that I am wearing like oh yeah like she's wearing a ton of foundation like I don't like that look I you know it's fine Obviously people know when I go out and I do myself up obviously I, I'm I got foundation on my face like it's not a secret or anything I'm not trying to say I need to go out looking like completely natural looking but I mean this is You can like you can tell like this is, this is a lot this is a lot All right, so we are going to use This so I don't know I just I don't know I don't know what this is I don't know where I got this from. I honestly don't remember getting this, but this is 24 hour flawless dual eyeshadow, mascara, pencil, e even New York, um, AA9, I'm assuming that's the shade. Um, is this, does, does, when they say mascara, do they, do they mean mascara for, I'm assuming for your eyebrow. I mean, it's called a duo dual eyebrow. So why would they call it mascara? Because it's not really mascara you put in your in your eyebrow. Um, yeah. I tried doing my eyebrows before this video, so hopefully they're good enough. I just had so much hair, I was letting them grow out. So I have like very, you know, very thin eyebrows and sometimes I'm just like, you know, if I if I just let them grow out, and then I'll be able to shape them better next time. Like as if I keep growing them out, if I keep growing them out, letting them just grow and get wolfy, um, 
then maybe it, they'll get maybe thicker. So I used to thread them and stuff, but I just, I just don't know. I feel like they're going to always be this way. I just want to get the product on the eye and then we will clean it up as we move along with it. So yeah, obviously that needs to get cleaned. So we're going to just take like a teeny, like, oh my gosh, like just so sparingly, like I'm barely putting anything on this. Like I'm putting my brush more if anything in the tube, just to get that tiny bit of product on it because stuff is thick. Um, and we'll just use this to make sure everything is even looking nice, looking good. Oh, what did I do there? Oh, no. We got to be real careful right here because I like done wiped off a whole brow almost with this dang stuff. I mean, this stuff is really freaking crazy. Like, it's a little scary using this. All right. Um, I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous to use this. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's brow gel. I don't know. I'm assuming it's tint. They called it mascara. Okay. We're going to use it because we're brave. Okay, um, is it dry? Is it, like, did I not ever use this? Is it that old? No. Oh, gosh, it's dark. Why do I feel like that didn't come out on my eye or did it? And I just don't realize it. Is it coming out? I think it is. I don't know. I'm going to assume that that's probably like the the thing that makes it 24 hours because that regular pencil didn't seem to really do much of anything. Um, it just seemed like a regular pencil. So I'm assuming that mascara side of it is the uh, the 24, the part that makes it last for 24 hours. All right. I'll do my other eyebrow and then... Um, We'll come back and we'll finish up this look, but, um, I mean, it's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. Um, that was very interesting. So as I was using, um, this on the other eye, it wasn't this, it was my, it was this. Um, the, the pencil started to like get real smudgy. Well, it was all right. Um, actually, you know, the mascara side or the tinter side whatever you'd like to call it it actually is not that bad i actually liked that more than the actual pencil itself so i barely on this side i kind of just used the pencil a tiny bit and then i really just tinted it like this was really mostly just tint i kind of just shaped it out and then i just went in with just a regular little spoolie a really thin and like rough one almost to kind of work that product through and um this is the this was the result on this eye so it, i it wasn't bad it actually it's not a terrible product this so i usually with these i get a lot of um for instance little lip stuff in all the time which mind you did i even use this yet i don't even know if i ever use that um but i get little lip stuffs from this brand which don't ask me to pronounce anything tristique um so this i never received any i always get lip stuff from these people man and I got a bronzer and look at this look at this look at this, look at this. Oh. what there's a brush so um yeah I'm, I'm excited I'm excited a little bit so we can go and give it a try um and then over the top of this I am going to use a um it's shimmer bronzer flush so it's kind of like a mix of like blushes and bronzers I'm gonna kind of use it to kind of soften the look up a little bit so I'll put a little bit over here. Okay. A little bit down the nose, a little nosy area. Um Okay. Let's see how their brush works. Mm. 
it's a very um it's a light bronzer it's not very dark i will say that it's a lighter kind of bronzer this is a very interesting brush i will say it's not much movement to it you can't really it's not it's it's very stiff um it's all right i thought it would be really cool it is it's a really cool product um I just don't really look like I have bronzer on. What is up with the products today? Jeez. We're gonna use this, this flush, this bronzer. We're, we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna put this over top. It smells very cheap. This is interesting. I oh good lord 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 <laughs> all right I'm gonna use some of this um setting powder here um it's one of my newer ones I didn't get to use it yet um so I have used banana products before and let me just say um I already know this setting powder is beautiful it's wonderful and the, the the tintedness of it also really does help with soothing out any um, cakiness on the face from the foundation. And Luna just opened my door. All right, so that was a success. The powder is wonderful and beautiful. So that barely counts as a product that I haven't used because I technically have used that product before in the past it, it is new like not used but I guess that counts I was just having a lot of storage problems so honestly I don't know what got recorded I, I don't know but um this is the uh mascara that I am using and it is Ico rock out and lash out mascara and before my camera shut out, I was saying it is wonderful. It, it feels really creamy on my eye almost. Like it's just really smooth and nice. And it's making my eyelashes nice and long and separated and not clumped at all. So that's always a plus. Get my under eye. Oh, I must say it's not bad at all. It's very nice. It's a very nice mascara. Alrighty, and now going in to the next eye next we're gonna do some highlighter this highlighter have it used it is focal point glow lighter and it is by colored colored rain I think that's supposed to be a day colored rain so I'm gonna get my highlighting brush here and we're just gonna go in it this is glow lighter Mmm. This is a nice, this is a nice highlighter. Hmm. I like a little, some highlight on my nose. And a little up here. A little bit around my mouth. Wow, this is really, really good um, highlighter all I will say that highlighter I have no complaints on at all it's always nice to find great products um so we got this we used today this was pretty good I don't really have complaints about it it can look a little cakey but that's just on my skin this was all right not too bad didn't leave really too much of a pigment to it um this I'm still I'm still a little unsure about I think it was nice I think it's a nice touch of like a little bit of bronze and a little bit of blush in one um 
The eyeshadows, again, beautiful for a neutral look. Um, maybe if that's what you were trying to go for. Um, just don't mix these two together. You're not really going to get much out of it. All right. So I was going to use some of my Harry Potter products today. I only got a couple here. I don't have a ton. I just got... Um, it was this. So this was jelly highlighter. And I just used the highlighter on my face that I wanted to use. And I kind of forgot about this. Which now I'm really upset about because I really wanted to know what this was like and what it looks like. But I guess I'll just have to try it in another video. Um, one thing though I have not used yet. Um, this is what I was saying about my crazy lipstick. I swear I feel like every lipstick I get, I try. I mean, when do you get a lipstick and you just don't try it and you just let it sit around? Um, it's different when you have products like foundations and concealers and bronzers. It's like you don't know if those for a fact are going to look right for the look that you want to produce that day. Um, but for the most part, you know, you can really look at a lip gloss or a lipstick and know, oh my god, that's going to look cute. You know what I mean? So I feel like I've tried all of them. This one I haven't tried yet. It's like a greenish black, actually. I guess this is maybe like more toward like the Slytherin. Oh, see last time I looked at this, it was black and now it's green, but it says on the back it's color changing lipstick. I never read that part. So it's color changing. So I don't even know what I'm gonna get. We're, we're gonna give this a try. I'm a little excited. Okay. Oh, oh gosh. Is it going to be cute? It's going... Oh my god. Does everyone see... Bro. It's literally going on pink. It's... Oh, I'm like appalled. How does, that, how does that work? How does that work? It's freaking green. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting this. I thought that I was going to have some dark black color on my lips today or like this dark green it's like pink oh and it's getting darker <laughs> it's getting darker wow did he put like more on does it get darker i'm like appalled right now when i did first open this it was at night time maybe that's why i thought this was black <laughs> Now I look at it and I'm like, oh crap, it's green. What the heck? Uh, and I'm just like prepared to use it, just ready to go for it. And come to find out, while that's far from black, that was not what I was expecting. This is like so cute. I can't believe that this Harry Potter lipstick was um color changing so it seems like at first um when i first put this on my lips it was like a very light pink it almost looked nude and as it sits it is getting darker i didn't put on any lip liner at first because i was like well it's gonna be super dark like it's gonna be like that like dark color almost black that's what i was thinking and i was like i don't have a lip liner to match that um i wish i would have known it would have came on like this i would have put on some lip liner Mm. but wow that is like that is such a cute color on my lips I'm in love with it right now so I was thinking too I don't know why they gave me this this is a Harry Potter uh, star tattoo face stamp you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna stamp my face so I'm gonna give myself a little stamp right here <laughs> oh my gosh I need to clean that up it's like a little circular around it Ooh, ooh! I look mysterious I think two's good I think they're not symmetrical uh, I messed up on that a little bit but you know what I don't think it needs to be symmetrical I think it gives it its own cute little look I'm just gonna clean up the tattoo part because there's a bit of uh, a line. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like a line right there. Um, from the circle part from underneath the star stamp. Okay. 
I I love it. I love it. Ooh, we're gonna take this off. Ooh, that was keeping my head very warm, and I'm actually very glad to be rid of it now. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Now, this came out actually way different than I thought it was. I thought I was going to be walking out of here with like a black lip when I opened this up and realized it was actually green. I thought I was going to be walking out of here with a green lip. You know, this is why we just let things just take us in the directions that they want to go in because we just don't control things in life. All right, guys. And this is the final product of the look here. So it definitely is not what I expected it to look like. I thought it was going to look way worse. I was not planning for any of these products to go together in any way. I just chose randomly things that I have not used. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody has a wonderful, blessed day, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for joining me.